Hi guys and welcome to our next Cyprus vlog. We left Paphos this morning and we are heading to Amados, which is in the Trudos Mountains and also in the Trudos Mountain range is Mount Olympus. So we'll be going there in this vlog as well. For now, we're driving ourselves. We're in our rental car. You can see the bright pink beauty queen herself in the mirror. It's messed up. We're going to stop in the town of Limassol on the way. It's on the southern coast and it's just a place I heard it's nice to stop off for a day, maybe get some lunch. There's not too much to do there, but we're excited to check it out, check out some more architecture and culture and we will take you with us. So let's go. It's about a 40 minute drive to Limassol right now. All right guys, so we just parked in the parking for the Limassol Marina. It is like insanely wild here. It's super busy and like not very many places to park. So now we're gonna go walk around the Limassol Old Town and try to find a place to eat some lunch. Patricia said she's gonna get that for me for my birthday. Yet again, absolutely amazing orange juice for a dollar, one euro. So a little bit more than a dollar, but still. All right guys, we're trying out some traditional Cypriot food and I just got a classic sandwich with Cypress cheese, whatever that is, but looks really good. All right, time for a taste test. Mmm, so good. Oh, and I forgot to say that entire lunch was only five euros a person. That's cheap. That's a big doggy. All right guys, so we finished up lunch and now we're walking around kind of exploring the area and we're headed to a street called Annex Artistas. It's supposed to be like the center of the old town and then we'll check it out from there, I guess. We're heading on. All right guys, the main street kind of just looks like a city. I don't know, nothing special. So we're gonna head back into the windy streets of Limassol because those look way cooler. How's the coffee in Cyprus? Such a beautiful day today out, guys. Perfect weather. A little bit windy. Perfect temperature, though. One thing I will say, guys, is that Cyprus actually has a lot of free bathrooms, which is pretty surprising for European countries, but much appreciated for sure. Another thing we've noticed about Cyprus is that they love ice and everyone's walking around with an iced coffee in hand. If you've traveled to Europe, you know ice is incredibly rare in mainland Europe. Classic cat mom, Patricia. There's also a lot of really nice restaurants at the Limassol Marina as well, but they are super expensive if you would like to eat there. Some sort of castle in downtown Limassol. We are now heading out of Limassol and it was a lovely afternoon spent here. I will say if you're a foodie, you should come to Limassol because there are so many restaurants and cafes. There's so many to pick from and it's a really fun place to grab a lunch or a dinner or spend the night. So now we're heading to Amaros and we're excited for another beautiful drive in Cyprus. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Hi guys, so we made it to our Airbnb and we have to tell you, today's a bad day. Why? Just kidding, but we learned that the Greek Cypriots believe heavily in the superstition that Tuesdays are very unlucky. Today's a Tuesday and they actually won't sign contracts or official agreements or get married or plan a trip or anything on Tuesdays. What are we going to do trip planning today? <laughs> Guess we'll I don't just... know if that's actually true. We just read about it. We made it to our Airbnb. We're in wine country, baby. We're actually not staying in the town of Omidos. We're staying about 15, 20 minutes away. But we get to stay in the mountains in this beautiful home. And I am obsessed with this Airbnb. And I will link you down below just because... Oh, like I feel like I'm staying at an extended family member's home. I feel so homey. I feel so cozy. It's clean. The whole house is like shared and then we have our own bedroom up here. We'll give you a room tour, but first we want to tell you about how we got here. So as we said, we're staying in the middle of the mountains and this place is not on Google Maps. So Matt, tell them the directions we had to follow. All right, three kilometers on the F-18, turn right at the junction. After a kilometer, you'll see a big green hedge. Take a left onto the concrete road. Then you'll see a bus shelter and some green bins, turn left there. Then there's another junction with green bins, turn right there. Then you carry along the lane and you'll see a big pink house. Then you take a left. Then down the hill, you'll see a dark brown house and that's the house that's here. When we received those directions, we were like, what the freak are we going to do? Like that made no sense to us. I was so convoluted. We're just used to typing the address and following Google Maps, which thank God we're traveling in the 21st century. Anyway, <laughs> surprisingly, the directions and the instructions were very thorough. We found Spot a little on. hedge in the house and we're here. Um, let's do a room tour. Welcome to our cutie little room. She's kind of small, but she's simple and she's everything we need. It's so clean and the beds are so comfortable and so squishy and the sheets are so clean oh i feel like i'm staying in like a family member's home it just feels so cozy we have a balcony too Here's our little balcony we have. So basically the whole house is owned by, I think these British people, I think they're from the UK. And they are downstairs and then there's like a main floor, a living room and a kitchen and everything. And then we're up here with one other room sharing a bathroom, but we'll insert some clips downstairs after this. That's it for our room. You wanna see the rest of the house? Let's go. Our bedroom, another bedroom, a shared bathroom. A nice one though. So cute. I think they use this map to like pin where everyone's traveling from. So Florida, I got you. I'm representing. Nice little coffee station too. This is Juju. Hello, Juju. friend. Hi, Juju. Nice little shared living room. And dining table with an amazing view. Here's the kitchen. We stopped in Limassol to get some groceries. So we're actually going to cook in here. And I'm so excited to cook in this kitchen. It is amazing. And look at this fridge. This American fridge with an ice maker and a filtered water. This is crazy for any of Europe. This is crazy. And look at the view. Wine country and home. A little breakfast nook here. And a little terrace as well. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to make dinner, but look how cute our little guard dog is. The cutest old Airbnb puppy, huh? Say hi, Juju. Hi, Juju. Ferocious guard dog. Ancha. You're You're very quiet, doggy. We have a very simple recipe for tonight. Just some rigatoni pasta and ricotta sauce. We also got a bag of spinach. We're trying to figure out how to use the gas stove. It's not turning on, so we'll see if we even get some pasta tonight. All right, guys, we're adding a boulon cube for flavor. Swag. This is a lot of pasta. In our household, we like the pasta extra saucy. Therefore, we used our reserve pasta bottle for tonight's dinner. Dinner is served, guys. This looks absolutely fire. It is fire. I already tried it. Not 
Their dog is very scary. Good morning, everybody. We are navigating our way back out from the house. Today, we are going to explore the cute little town of Amados, which again is situated in the Trudos Mountains. And Amados is a cute little town known for its hand knit lace, local pretzels, and- Pretzels? Something. <laughs> Dude, I love pretzels. But it should just be a cute little European town up in the mountains. So we're excited to check it out and take you with us. Tomorrow, we're going to Mount Olympus. That was our plan for today. But it was raining all morning. Now, of course, it's sunny and fine. It's gonna be an amazing day. We have free parking for visitors. How lovely. Cyprus is one of my favorite European countries just for the ease of travel. Hey guys, welcome to Amados. And we have 100% a solid plan. We know exactly where we're going. So, come we're with just us. We're following people around. <laughs> we don't even know if we're, we might actually be following people to a tourist bus right now. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what we're doing. <laughs> Yo guys, the rest of Europe needs to get on Cyprus's grind. Free parking, free toilets everywhere. Guys, today is a great day. If you've traveled around Europe, you know that a free bathroom is nearly impossible to find. Also, for the rest of the locations that we've traveled to on this year of travel, being Southeast Asia, Northern Africa, it is incredibly rare to find a bathroom without nasty wet floors that actually has toilet paper, paper towels, and soap. Maybe we should turn this into a bathroom review channel because Cyprus is winning, top tier. Apparently, in this monastery, they have Jesus Christ's cross. Guys, there's some random wine bottles just chilling in the middle of the street. <laughs> Apparently this ginormous thing is a medieval wine press. Hello again from Wine Country. We just picked up a glass of a white wine for two euros each. This is a thick glass and we have no idea what type of wine it is. It's just the village wine at this cafe. It's not my favorite, but it's really fun. It's a good vibe. <laughs> All right, guys, I got a traditional Cypriot cheese and meat sandwich. I had it the other day and it's really good. It's called halloumi and lutza. You know it's good food when it literally has three ingredients but still blows me away. Yum. I love Cyprus. All right, guys, pretty much done in checking out Amados. Amazing city, definitely worth like a lunch here, stop off here. Or you uh, can stay here. Yeah, or yeah, you can stay here. The accommodations are a little pricey for They are us. a little pricey. <laughs> but it's wonderful. Yeah, it's amazing. So now Patricia's gonna grab a snack because she's a little bit hungry. And we're gonna head to see if we can find a winery. This is the best day of my life. And for my lunch, I decided that I wanted to stop off at George's Bakery, which you should definitely do if you come to Amados. And I got some candy nuts, <laughs> which isn't the most healthy or balanced decision, but... It's fun and we're in Cyprus, so shh. Also, uh, kind of perfect timing because it's like starting to rain, so back to the car. All right, guys, we're going to like a family-owned small winery because we want to support small businesses. And a lot of these wineries are corporate-owned, and this one is one of the family-owned ones. It's called... Zenin Winery. Let's go try some wine! Gotta make sure to lock the Batmobile. This is a really cute place.
We're saying goodbye to our lovely Airbnb. It's a little bit bittersweet. This is our favorite Airbnb we've stayed in in a very long time, just because it simply feels like we're staying at an extended family member's home. And we really love that. It's making us a little homesick, feeling so homey here. But right now we're gonna head out and go to Mount Olympus because it's a beautiful day to do that. So let's go. Such a beautiful day today. All right guys, Reebok Club Seas meet the snowy wilderness. This is really cool. We're gonna go have Wait, a snow fight. We came prepared for sure. We did come prepared. Look, I got my jacket, I got my shorts. Guys, this is just so peaceful. Walking around pretty much alone in this snowy forest. Didn't expect there to just be like no people up here really. Not even any footsteps in the snow. Patricia better watch out. This is so cool, just like, oh, it's so bright. Walking around in this forest. The British stole the summit of Mount Olympus. I'm sure Zeus is mad. If you don't know what Mount Olympus is, basically it's where the Greek gods and goddesses ruled their domain. The physical location, in my opinion, it wasn't on Earth, but I guess the Greeks thought it was here. You're like a Greek god? Yes, I'm a Greek god of snow. Oh, in my shirt. <laughs> Snowball fights. I didn't know that we were going to have a snow fight up here, but this is definitely a shock. I did not know it was going to be snowy up here. This is really cool and it's so peaceful just like being out in this little snowy forest. It's so fun. There's something about just like a snowy environment that brings out your inner child. All right, we're going to go try to find a viewpoint. Hit the camera. Did it work? Hit more. Hit with more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys are building the most messed up looking little Floridian snowman. Hey, he's cute. 
Oops. He looks like he did meth. Hey. <laughs> we all have our issues and insecurities. <laughs> Alright, he needs some arms. There you go. You have to put him in his middle one. Oh. This is his torso. Nice. I need eyes. Guys, look at this stunner. If you guys can't tell, Patricia and I are absolutely experts at making snowmen. How would you rate our snowman making ability? I think he's cute, and I think it was fun. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. <sighs> what an amazing view, guys. Yeah, from up here on Mount Olympus, you can actually see the coastline of Cyprus all the way up to Paphos, where we came from the day before yesterday. Alrighty guys, time to head to Ayanapa. I'm impressed that the pink beast made it up here. Bro, it was tough. <laughs> oh. Why? Good job, old Missy. <laughs> guys, we stopped out for a quick lunch and there's a strobe light. Okay, my vlog friends, it's time to go ahead and end it here. I hope you enjoyed our Trudos Mountains vlog. We had so much fun going up to Mount Olympus, to Amados, and just staying in this quaint little village. But now we're heading to a new town in Cyprus, so you have to watch the next vlog to see what that's all about. Love you guys so much, and have a great day. Bye. What is this angle? Don't look behind you. I don't know if you can do it for this. Okay, this is real.